Hi guys, hope you're well and today we are not in our kitchen, we are at Pack Foods. Um, there are a few of these dotted around up and down the country. I think we've got two in Leicester. So Pack Foods have kindly sponsored this video. Um, so we're going to take a look. I'm going to show you some quick tips on choosing the best watermelon and mangoes and then we're going to do a quick recipe at the end. The best sort of watermelons should be dark green in colour and also have yellow spots like this and also a dry stem and you know that they'll be sweet. The main variety we eat are Chosa from Pakistan and they are known to be the king of mangoes. Um, there's also Geser mangoes and Alphonse as well, um, which are these. These are Geser mangoes and they're from India. They're also just as delicious. They should be soft um, and these are. And also they should have a uh, slight aroma at the top here, at the stem. And these do. Also, if they're a little bit wrinkly, then you know they're also ripe as well and they're ready to eat. Okay, so guys, so we are back in the kitchen and I'm going to show you all the things that I've bought. I'm so glad that we went uh, early in the morning. Um, it was a lot quieter because there's always like long queues there. Okay, so let, let's get straight into it. Um, so I've got a block of butter. Um, I've got milk powder and I'll be using this for a delicious recipe. Um, again, also a lovely recipe coming up. Um, it'll be an avocado dessert. So I've got some avocados there. Uh, um, and I've got some pistachios, some whole cashews, and whole almonds. Um, I'll be using these for a recipe as well. And I'll be using some dried cranberries. Oh, and I've got some medjool dates, or they're my favorite, and I'll be using this for a recipe that I'll be uploading soon. Okay, what else have we got? And I have got some desiccated coconut. I'll be using that for the recipe as well. And I have got some yogurt. Um, and I've also got some mangoes. And I'll be using this for a recipe I'll be uploading as well. Um, I have got some sugar. I have got a, a box of these uh, biscuits with dates. That goes really nicely with some tea. And I've got vanilla essence. I haven't tried this brand before, so I'm going to give that a go. I've got coconut essence, a couple of bottles there. Um, I've got some lentils for lentil day um, when it's when I feel like you know something simple and easy. So I've got that, um, and I have got some jellies, and they have got a few flavors in the store. I have got mango and mixed fruit. Lovely color. It sets really nicely as well. Um, so I'll be using that for a dessert and I have got some mango custard powder. I haven't used this one, this brand before So I'll give that a go And and the final bits I've got in my bag um, These were on offer so I picked up three and these are used to shine my pots I've done a video on shining pots because everyone kept asking me um, So I'm gonna link that up so make sure you check that out So as promised I'm gonna show you a delicious mango lussie recipe so as usual, let's get started. 